7 Edge versus iPhone 10 speed test coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here, back again with another video, and this time S7 Edge versus iPhone 10. Last week I made a comparison, iPhone 6S Plus versus S9 Plus, and I asked you guys, do you want to see an older Samsung, how it stacks up against the newer iPhone? Because I'm always doing the iPhone versus the newer Samsung and showing how an older iPhone can keep up with a newer Samsung. Let's begin with the boot up test in 3, 2, 1. And many of you did say you did want to see this, so here we are. We're going to start here with the S7 Edge. If you guys have a request on like an older Galaxy you'd like to see versus a newer iPhone, go ahead and drop it down below in the comments section. And you can see this is the Korean model, so don't ask me why there's not a Samsung logo up there. This is the Korean model. And you see the iPhone 10 is the win here and over the S7 Edge, but not by much, a couple of seconds, but still it's the win there. This is the Exynos version as well, four gigs of RAM, three gigs of RAM for the iPhone 10. Okay guys, so before we get started even further, I do wanna go ahead and show you that this is running Android 7 Nougat here for the S7 Edge. It hasn't had the update just yet here on my device to Android 8.0. This is also the Exynos version. I wanna quickly confirm that so you can see Exynos 8890 2.6 gigahertz what a beast the s7 edge was and it still kind of is over here on the iphone 10 we are running the latest ios 11.3.1 as you can see there i want to go ahead and head over to the lock screens and see which one is faster when it comes to this camera thing so let's go ahead and do this in three two okay we're gonna have to put the lock screen back on over here three two one and you can see that looked about the same to me. Let me go back here and do it one more time. Three, two, one. And you could see maybe the iPhone 10 there. So you know what? On the lock screen, when it comes to getting into your camera very quickly, it's going to be about the same there. All right, guys. So we have arrived at the application portion. You can see all the apps are closed on the left. All apps are closed on the right. Can the old Samsung keep up with the iPhone? We usually have an old iPhone facing off to a new Samsung. Let's begin with Instagram 3, 2, 1. And you can see Instagram opens first on the right for the iPhone 10. Let's flip through a tab. And you can see that's the iPhone 10 again. Let's go into this little heart icon right here. And you could see about the same. So when you're in the application, not too much of a difference. I find the iPhone 10 a little smoother. But yes, the iPhone 10 wins Instagram. Let's go into the clocks. And you could see slightly to the iPhone 10. Let's go into calculator. You can see, man, it's just like a hair to the iPhone 10 there. What about settings? And that would go to the Galaxy S7 Edge, but I was in the software updates in the settings because the iPhone held that. So let's go ahead and do that settings one more time. Let's close that out, come home here, and let's do settings. And you can see there it goes, the iPhone 10. So that was probably just because I was in the software update. Let's go into calendar. That's the iPhone 10 slightly. What about Twitter? You can see Galaxy S7 Edge on that one, and there is the iPhone. What about WhatsApp? You could see S7 Edge. What about Snapchat? You could see S7 Edge again, but the Snapchat camera is better on the iPhone. Let's go into YouTube. And you could see YouTube on the left, then on the right. Trending tab, there goes the iPhone. So the iPhone takes a win. Activity, and the iPhone a little faster there. So it caught up in the app, but on the launch, it was the Galaxy S7 Edge. Let's go into Amazon. You could see Amazon is first. Look like on the right maybe, but I had to hit that little notification. Let's go into Chrome. And Chrome is first on the right over the S7 Edge. What about Lightroom? And this one is gonna go to the iPhone 10. Let's go into Netflix. And Netflix is going to the iPhone 10. Let's go into Jetpack Joyride. Here's where the iPhone 10 should take a significant lead. And it does. We're way ahead there in the games over the S7 Edge. Let's go into slither.io and you can see we're ready to play here for the iPhone 10 and now for the S7 Edge. But you're seeing right here that this old Samsung is keeping up. So when you say an older Samsung doesn't go the distance, the S7 Edge is proving you that it can go the distance. And what I mean by that is long term. Dead Trigger 2 and you can see Dead Trigger 2 opens first on the right, iPhone 10. iPhone usually always wins in gaming. And uh, it did here again. And usually it has a higher graphic setting out of the box 
where you can change the graphics here on a lot of games for Android, including this Dead Trigger 2 game right here. So now we're in the S7 Edge, so significantly slower on that more graphically intensive Dead Trigger 2. Let's go into speed test, and you can see speed test is a win. It looked like on the left, maybe, if I might have been wrong. Let's go into Geekbench 4, and you can see that's the iPhone 10. Let's go into phone, and phone on the right, and let's go into camera, and camera, iPhone 10, maybe the S7 Edge, pretty close. Overall, I think that the iPhone 10 won more rounds here than the S7 Edge, but they were both pretty close, and I think the S7 Edge did hang pretty tight there with the iPhone 10 for being, you know, a two-year older phone. Okay, so now let's go through the multitasking to see if we get any reloads on either of these. Let's begin with camera, and you could see it looks like not really there on camera. Let's go into the next app, which is going to be the phone app. You can see the iPhone 10 a little faster, Geekbench about the same, speed test about the same. We're looking for reloads, Dead Trigger 2, and that was about the same on both. Slither.io, looks like we had an ad here for the S7 Edge. Let's go over to Jetpack Joyride, and you can see a little faster there for the iPhone 10, so smoother opening these apps again the iPhone 10. but I do have 1X animations as it is stock out the box for the S7 Edge. Let's go into Lightroom. You can see iPhone 10 just a little bit quicker. What about Chrome? And just a little bit quicker. But I think if we put on those 0.5x animations, we have a reload here for the iPhone 10. That would be the S7 Edge. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and do that really quickly just so we can see if that does change the speed. So I'm going to put on 0.5 on the transition. And let's put 0.5 right here. And let's go ahead and try another app. How about YouTube? And you can see YouTube reloads there on the 10, but not for the S7 Edge, Snapchat. And you can see how the animation got quicker. Now the S7 Edge keeping up rather easily to the iPhone 10. So you can see the animations can make a huge difference when you are using them on 0.5. And that was the iPhone 10 in settings. That was the S7 Edge calculator. I mean, look at that speed after the animation clock. You can see very similar. And Instagram, about the same. So good stuff here for the old S7 Edge. Kept up quite easily on that multitasking round. So this is just going to show how powerful that Exynos chip is. Let's go ahead and quickly run a Geekbench to see how they do on their benchmarks. Here's where the iPhone 10 should just easily crush the Galaxy S7 Edge, but let's check it out. Okay guys, so the final scores are in. You can see an absolute crushing win here for the iPhone 10. As expected, Geekbench scores always rise on the new phones. Most people don't care about these, but some people say they wanna see it, so we throw it here in the test. Overall, you know, the iPhone 10 just feels a little bit smoother on the day-to-day, -day, it feels more refined. Whereas with the animations tweaked down, if you do some overclocking, the Galaxy S7 Edge can feel faster, but it'll, it will never feel quite as smooth as the iPhone 10. But it's really kind of like, do you want super fast animations? You can get that on S7 Edge. Do you want super smooth feeling? You get that on iPhone in general. But I just think the S7 Edge feels a little clunkier, even if on the day-to-day -day it's as, as fast as most phones on your basic everyday stuff. Okay, guys, so that pretty much wraps it up. Galaxy S7 Edge versus iPhone 10. You've seen that, yes, the older Samsung can keep up with a newer iPhone. This is just going to show you that phones have been very good performers for quite some time. Specifically, the Samsungs with the Exynos processors are pretty good powerhouses here. And you've seen that while it ain't faster in benchmarks than iPhone 10, it's not faster overall than an iPhone 10 for your everyday stuff. You know, getting a $200 or $300 yesteryear flagship like the s7 edge you know in the day-to-day -day is not that much difference in performance to a brand new thousand dollar phone but again where samsung is still lacking a little bit is the updates they they do take a long time like i still haven't got android 8.0 here for the s7 edge which i think should be on everyone's s7 edge by this point but that's where you lose out but yes they're getting better at their hardware game anyway if you found this video helpful enjoyable entertaining informing do me a favor click that like button for me any video suggestions you want to see any other samsung's versus the newer iphones like an older samsung drop it down below Thank you all very much for watching. Nick here up and you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.